We need to overturn a 2-1 deficit in our second leg of the quarterfinal Champions League against AC Milan. We lost 2-1 at Anfield, which uh, puts us in a very difficult position, to be perfectly honest. The San Siro is going to be very difficult. I've set up the team to try and make us a bit more defensively sound whilst going for the attack. I don't know how that's going to pan out, but we'll have to wait and see. We did well in the last episode, apart from we lost our first Premier League game in 32 games against Manchester City. Doesn't matter, we're still top of the tree with two games in hand on both Chelsea and Man City, who are our title rivals. We're 16 points ahead of Man City, uh, sorry, Man United, who are on 60 points. Our goal difference is 20 better than anybody else's. We've got this, we can do it. We can win the Premier League. We just need to make sure we win our games in hand, beat Chelsea, who we've still got to play at some point, and Newcastle, which are the Everton are having a great season well. They're in six. So we've got some tough games still to come. But I think we can do it. I think we can win this league. And hopefully, hopefully, that'll be everything won in England uh, should we be able to do that. The team to go out and try and overturn this deficit. We've got Jules in goal. Alexander Arnold on the right is going to be an inverted wing back, and he's going to go into that midfield area. That means we've got Silva, Scalvini and Hato making up what will become a back three when we're attacking. Zaya, Emery, Guerra and Elliot in midfield. Guerra has been playing very well in the last couple of games. We have a quick look at his form. He's got a goal and assist in the last game against Sheffield United. And he actually scored against AC Milan in the home leg. We've got Ferreira and Doak up, up front alongside Price. <clears throat> More wingers than forwards, Ferreira and Doak, but I see them as part of the front line. Then got Wilson, Aaron Robson, Simao, Coyote, Valley, Santos, Breaker, Babich, Ferguson, Beasley, Erosi, and North all on the bench. Apparently, uh, AC Milan are unbeaten in four games against us. That is not a record I'm very happy about. We need to end that today, and hopefully we can uh, stop it from becoming five. It's going to be quite difficult for us. We're playing a different way. I'm hoping that that's going to throw them off a little bit. We could always return to the flat back four if need be we've got the players on the bench to do so looking to sell alexander arnold in the summer i don't know if that will happen but it will certainly make it more difficult for us to change the way we play antonio silva doak runs at his man goes past the oar i'm pretty sure the oar's not as quick as ben doak and you can see it there as arnold picks up the board midfield that's where we want him doak's through how did he not get the shot they just blocked it He's got to have got the shot away there, but he didn't. Kalulu to Enric. They play really wide fullbacks, don't they? They're really stretching the uh, the pitch here. We need to get closer to them. As Hato does well to clear that away. Scalvini and Hato get under each other. It's not great. Doku's on the ball. We've got to clear it away. We've got to do better in these situations against Milan. But they've got such good players. Look at that Gavi. There's Hato. Back to Jules. That's nice. We uh, calm the play down. That's good. Good away day tactics. That is around the corner to Doak. He's got to be the danger man. He goes over to Price. Look at the pace in behind. One nil up and it's 2-2 on aggregate. And it is the man James Price. Starting ahead of Ferguson today. That's what he's at. His 21st goal of the season. It's a great run down the middle. Takes it brilliantly and fires it in the back of the net. As it stands at this second, we are still within a shout of retaining our Champions League title. Don't know how we're going to do that, but we're still in with a shout. Man City are through to the next round, and so are Inter Milan. So two of the other big clubs, uh, Elliot's in. Elliot, Elliot. Oh, so close. So close. Big teams at this stage of the competition always, to be fair. And there's Elliot with a low ball in. That's a really poor corner. We have been the dominant side here, no doubt about it. The stats bear it out. They're starting to have a bit more of attacks, though, which is not ideal. We need to stop those as they look to get at us here. There's Rafa. Rafa Leao at the back post heads it over. We've taken off Guerra for Santos at halftime just to put some fresh legs in midfield. Although he didn't seem happy about it, to be honest. And he came on pretty nervous. So we tried to ease his concerns. But, you know, oh, Doak does really well with the touch there. The ball around from Arnold. He's still running at them. There's no point crossing it into a very tiny price. There's Elliot Ferreira. Come on. 3-2 on aggregate now. We're 2-0 up at the San Siro. I did not think this was going to happen. I thought our Champions League run was going to end here. 
But it's really good work. Arnold there proving his worth. Still thinking about selling him. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm swinging back and forth on that one. We've made some changes to the back line here. Aaron Robson's come on for Alexander Arnold to be an inverted fullback. While Samao has come on to be the inverted wing back on support. We'll see how he gets on there. His price is in behind again. That's what he does. That's what he gives us. Uh, Ferguson doesn't give us that. And oh, Samao hits the bar. And I've said it already. <laughs> We've hit the bar again. We brought on Attila Arozi for... Um, young James Price, but they're on the attack here. This is desperate, and they have scored, and it's 3 all on aggregate now. It's 2-1 here. Same scoreline as the scoreline at Anfield. Not ideal to concede this late. We're three minutes into four minutes of extra time, and we cannot hold on to the to the win, and maybe making the change at the back post there for Simao Hato has cost us. Simao was there, so was Ferreira. They're not going to win stuff in the air, to be honest. And here we are into extra time. I have brought on the now fit David Valley for none other than Elliot to try and, oh my word, so close to try and get some legs in midfield. If this goes to a shootout, they're going to be struggling. I mean, Price isn't here. Ferguson's not, oh my word. Oh, we've been saved by Jules there. And again, who on earth was taking that? And it has gone to penalties. We are in a penalty shootout. I think, I think we're going to struggle here. I'll be honest. I think we're going to lose this. Uh, it's going to be quite desperate for us. I'm just going to pick the most competent players. I mean, Santos is nervous in terms of like composure and penalties and finishing. It's not looking great, is it? It's not looking great. I'm just going to pick the players and hope that they can do the job. And here we are, Attila Arozi with the first penalty. So we're going first. Can we get one up? Yep. Always back to Attila to score his penalty. Carboni against Jules. Can Jules save this? Nope. It's a good penalty by V. Carboni in the end. We've got Zaya Emery coming up next. Two of our best penalty takers, Price and Ferguson, aren't in the team. And he's missed it. And that's why I was worried about this. I should have thought about penalties, but I have thought about legs instead. Now we've got Yamin Yamal. And he scored, and we're 2-1 down. This is not looking good, Antonio Silva. He's been a really good centre-back for us recently. And he gets his penalty on target. He does, he buries it. We need a miracle from Jules now. Is Shibi? Is that Shiabi? Whatever his name is. Oh, Jules, so close. He's got to save one soon because it's looking desperate. His nervous boy, Andre Santos. Yeah, he puts his away comfortably. Free all. We need to save now. This is it, isn't it? This is it. We need to save. Oh, it's Gavi. I mean, Gavi. Okay, Ferreira. Right. If you don't, if you miss this, we're out. Okay. <laughs> you need to score. You need to score. Left footed wonder kid. Does score. Good. Good. Right, Jules. Can you can, can you just do some heroics, please? It's Seavold. My ex player. My ex player I sold to AC Milan for 65 million. And we're out. We're out of the Champions League. In the quarter-final stage, we can't retain our title. Milan have beaten us 3-3 on aggregate. They won 5-4 uh, on penalties. I'm not overly disappointed because we won 2-1. Do you know what I mean? It's not bad. It's not like we've absolutely collapsed. We've come back. We've fought. Okay, we conceded late. Not great. Perhaps putting on some out at left back wasn't a good idea. We should have kept Jarrell Hato for his height. But, you know, the, the decision was made and in the end... We lose the game in terms of uh, stats, fairly even. Clear-cut chances, we had the better. You know, 2-1, and we scored both. They scored theirs. Possession, we were good. But overall, probably should have won the game, and we did. We just lost on penalties. So I'm not overly unhappy with that, you know? Would have preferred to be in the competition, but let's see if we can go on and win the Premier League. Chelsea drew 1-0 in their game with West Ham, which was great news because now we're still free games ahead of them uh having <coughs> sorry we're still three games in hand now we play nottingham forest at home we win today and we go what we're going 79 we go 
four points ahead of them. Four points ahead of them. We have not many games left to go. So that would be fantastic if we did that. We've got Jules in goal today. Coyote, Silva, Hato and Simao make up a normal back four. Valley comes in. He can only do 45 minutes of action. So we're going to have to monitor him. Santos, Guerra, Babich, Doak and Ferguson make up the rest of the team. In terms of subs, we've got Wilson, Robson, Williams, Arnold, Beasley, Elliott, Breaker, North and Price. You know what? Not Arnold. Not Arnold. Salazar. Salazar for Arnold. Strong team. We've got a very strong, deep team, haven't we? Lots and lots of good players. And we're going to add to that. We've got two players waiting on work permits that we're going to bring in. They're playing quite defensively, which is why I opted for Ferguson uh, as a target man up front to see if we can whip some balls into him. Uh, we are nicely still four points ahead of... No, sorry. One point ahead of Chelsea. Four points if we win today. Not going to be easy. Nottingham Forest are no mugs. Ben Doak. Can he whip the ball in? Yes, he can. Because he's got no one blocking him. Because it's a corner. Guerra. He shoots. Oh! Almost. Simao with the throw. 31 minutes in. And we haven't had a shot on target yet. And there's a poor ball from Babich. Only as far as Silva. We're going to be putting all the, all the pressure. And they're going to try and break on us. So I've put the wings on attacking. And gone attacking. In the hope that they'll pin their wing backs. Back a little bit. While Simao and Coyote as wing backs themselves will also cause a bit of an overload on that side. Babich almost scored. Corner. Ben Doak with it again. Crowd in there. Look. Four players. Santos. Unlucky. We need to get a win here, boys. We need to capitalise on Chelsea's poor result. Might even go two up front in a minute. Half time, obviously. Not, not in the first half. Sangare. Because they've only got... Although they might overrun us in midfield. They're playing it around nicely. Can we win that ball high? Doesn't look like we can at the moment. That's their wing back. Come on. Don't let them score. Such a long highlight. Hato does win it. There's Valley. He needs to come off at half time. Can only do 45 minutes of action. There's Santos. Find. But he's offside. We need to make that ball earlier, Santos. He's offside, mate. Yeah, you took one touch too many. Okay, that's why you don't start. He's so offside. Look, too late. Silver. Um, that's not the best ball, mate. We've lost. What is going on there? What is that shite? Absolute crap passing, boys. <coughs> they're going to score. You can tell because they're playing one, two touch. Ah, oh, Valley does well. Can we not give the ball away there? Coyote, loads of space, mate. Run into it. Doak, you need to go beyond him. Why are you not going beyond him? Now, go beyond the wing back. Go. Thank you. Anyone going to help Ferguson? Doesn't need it. 1 0. 15th for the season. 41 minutes. We are 1 0 up. Needed that goal. I was getting frustrated. As it went, as time went on, and we just weren't really finding a way through. But Ferguson does brilliantly. Side footed goal, lovely. Looks like their throw. We're going to start with the highlight. Not ideal. Oh, Hato, nice. Jules. Silva, been brilliant this season, Antonio Silva. Salazar, nice to see him on. And Doak gives the ball away. Not like him. What's going on there? No, we don't press the keeper. That's fine. We do press Kwanzaa, though. Let's go, Babich. Atto, he's there again. Running that defence. Miss him out of Babich. Get the ball in. Just whip it in. Can you do it? Nope, he does find Santos. Beasley! Only a second of the season. Doesn't play very much, Beasley. Young wonder kid. Young, talented boy. Gets a goal. And it's 2-0. And hopefully that's enough to dead and bury Nottingham Forest. Babich does well in the end. Was hoping for the cross. Doesn't make it. First time pass by Santos, who I've been berating. Beasley just fires it home. Antonio Silva. Goes forward with the ball. Nice pass in there. Doke inside. Ferguson's got round his man. Can he get two? Goalkeeper does well to tip it over. Get a corner out of it. Who's taking it there? Ben again. Whips it in. Hato does pick it up. There's North. He shoots. Good effort. We have made all five subs now. I don't think I've been keeping you up to date with those. But you can see them down the bottom. Elliot's now come on. North on the left. That's a strange ball in. Doesn't work out. 
So we've got Salazar who came on. Yeah, Elliot Beasley, Breaker and North. Yeah, so decent subs coming off the bench. Very strong team now. 2-0 up here. Don't concede late on. 89 minutes, boys. Yeah, let's keep the clean sheet. Can we do that? Can we please keep the clean sheet? Please? He's offside. He's definitely offside, Elanga. Yeah. And a good 2-0 win. We do capitalise on Chelsea's poor game against West Ham, which means we are now four points ahead of them. Even if City win their game tomorrow, I think they're playing, and they get 75, they'll only be on level on points for Chelsea. So it's looking good for us. So we have brought in a couple of players, young players, 19-year-old and an 18-year-old wonder kid. Uh, Branko Vidic from Partizan Belgrade, the 19-year-old Serbian goalkeeper who's already had three caps for Serbia. Looks absolutely fantastic. His, uh, none of his uh, scouting report is a problem. It's actually quite good, to be honest. Uh, dealing with crosses and high balls into the penalty area is fantastic. He's requested to leave the club. He's driven player. International experience. Really, really happy of him. He'll be coming in in uh, June, as as will Nikita Bakic. Basically, we're, we're waiting for a work permit. But for six million, I think he is basically coming in. I mean, look at him. Four caps for Serbia already. Look at him. He's a great striker. Six foot. He got some. He might, he might struggle in the dressing room. He'll be fine. Consistency. We have that with Price, and he still scores like 20 to 30 goals a season. Uh, we've got... Yeah, his international experience is great. He can play right wing as well because he's very, very pacey. Uh, he's ambitious. He's, ex he's under 21, of course, which is great. And uh, his strongest attribute is his technical ability. He's off the ball. He's 17. His composure's 13 already. His anticipation's 15. I think he's going to score a lot of goals for us should we stay at Liverpool for a very long time. We already know about John Reinhold, so that's a good signing there. And there's a lot more wonder kids I've found that I'm going to try to bring in. Although one of them, one of them wants a lot, a lot of money and I'm refusing to give it to him. Brentford make the trip up to Anfield. That's our next game in the Premier League. The other two games we're going to be playing today are Newcastle after this at St. James's Park. They're fifth in the league. Very strong team. They're out of the title race, but they could damage ours. And then Everton, which of course they want to damage ours. They, that's an away game as well. At their place, they're in sixth. They're not doing too bad. Um, if we have a look at their... They're obviously, they're not in the title race, but they're going to get European football for next season. Potentially, there's still a few games to go. So, tough games coming up. Brentford, we want to get one over because they beat us um, last time out. And I think we drew with them, did we, or something? Let's have a look at our schedule against uh, Brentford. Last time we played them was... Yeah, it was in the Cup. It, that, that's, that's when they beat us in the FA Cup. So we do want to get one over of them, and we've picked a strong team here. Julian Gold, Keode, Silva, Hato, Simao, Zaya, Emery, Guerra, Elliot, Ferreira, Doak, and Ferguson. Ferguson because he scored in the last game. Uh, Wilson, Robson, William Zaya, uh, Salazar, Valley, Santos, Breaker, North, and Price on the bench. We are going to put Arnold for the Salazar on the bench for this one. That seems like a good thing to do. Look, he's, he's emboldened now. The three points here would put us seven points ahead of Chelsea. Man City do play today. I thought this was our game in hand. There's another. There's a number of other teams playing today as well, so I'm not sure how that really works out. We'll just. I'm sure they. I'm sure they know what they're doing. In fact, Man City. There are there are teams here who've only played 33, so this is possibly our game in hand against the others who have already played 34. There's Simao on the left. Finds Hato, Zaya Emery back to Simao. Does find Ferreira back in the starting lineup today. Guerra. I'm just going to try and play my strongest team in every game until the end of the season. Because that Premier League title is almost ours. There's Ferguson. Goal. I think he's onside this time. He's got his 16th for the season if it counts. Does it count? Come on, VAR. Sort yourself out. What? Who's offside? I'm sure Doak was on. Yeah, Doak's on. Oh, he is off. Ferguson's off. Elliot whips the ball in. Somehow. Back to Elliot. Antonio Silva. Elliot is on 20 assists for the season. 21 will break the club record. The Simao. All their players are tiring. Tiring a lot more than ours because we're managing our squad better than them. Most clubs. There's Ferreira. Oh, it's the bar, but Ben Doak is there. He follows up for his 13th for the season. And he's come real good at the end of the season. He had a terrible start. But uh, here he's really, really picked up a gear. 
in the last few games and he's become vital in our title race. Ferreira there, whips it in. So close, but hits the bar. And there's Doak with the follow-up, puts it past Raya. Looks like they're throwing. Oh, we've done well there to win the ball in the midfield. Zaya Emery, calm as always. Elliot, oh, over the top to Ferguson. That's a good pass. Ferguson going to be the crosser? Is he going to be the provider? There's Doak. Guerra! Doak's got a goal and assist now. Guerra gets another goal to his name. Another player who's come good towards the business end of the season. Very happy here. 33 minutes, 2 0 up against Brentford. Want to beat them, want to get one back over them. Does well there. Good cross. First time volley. What a finish. Hato. The Ferreira. Ferreira and Simao, the two Portuguese players, playing nicely together there. Over the top, there's Guerra. He's in. Ah, oh, what? How has that not gone in? Apparently, it's a save and it hits the woodwork as well. Guerra really running the show. Elliot suffered bruised ribs. We're going to take him off at half time then. As he's on the ball now. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Samal does well. Ferguson. No, no good. No good. Alexander Arnold has come on for Harvey Elliott into the midfield. He's going to play as a Mazzara. And look, he's won the ball. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he almost scores. We made a couple more changes. Jake Williams has come on for Samal left back. Jerry Brake has come on for Ben Zoke on the right wing. Just to give them a rest. Be ready for Newcastle. We look to rotate the players. There's Arnold in midfield. Breaker. Hickey's quick as well. So he's not going to run at him, I don't think. Because he'll never get past him as easy as he wants to. As there's Williams. That's fine. Ferreira. Ferguson. 16th for the season for Evan Ferguson. Nice run by Ferreira. Wasn't playing well until that point. Louis Ferreira. But we work it around nicely. Get the overload on the left-hand side. Ferreira runs at his man. Good cross. And it's an easy finish for Evan Ferguson in the end. Arnold whips the ball in. Oh, unlucky. We've made two other changes. North has come on the left. And Robson's come on for Hatto at centre-back. Alexander-Arnold. Man City a 2-1 up at Leicester. Robson. He's offside, I think. North shoots. It's in. I think there's an offside in the build-up. I think it's Robson. But there's no call for it. Is he not offside? Oh, well, fine. We'll take it. Jonathan North with the goal. And Aaron Robson with the assist. Two graduate boys here. Alexander Arnold as well involved with the corner. Set back to him. Good shot. Good goal. Jonathan North. I'm a real fan of him. The 4-0 here with uh, 92 minutes on the clock. Only four minutes of extra time given. And North's got two. He's bagged his 10th for the season. For a player who doesn't start all the time, doesn't play many games, 10 goals in a season is fantastic. We need to, I need to start him more, but we've got Ferreira. We've got Babich on that side as well. I think I'm going to start him against Newcastle. He's got two goals. I've got to, right? I mean, that's a wonderful finish. And it is 5-0 in the end. And what, look what that does for our goal difference. 61 goal difference. Uh, Man City did win their game. They've got on to 75 points. We're now seven ahead of them and Chelsea with a game in hand. I think that's Everton. Our game in hand is against Everton. Only a few changes for the game against Newcastle then. Jewel stays in goal. Alexander Arnold comes in at right back as the inverted win back. Silva, Scalvini and Hato will make up a back three when we're attacking. Zaya Emery starts. Andre Santos in for Guerra. Elliott, of course, in the midfield. North comes in after scoring two goals late on against Brentford. Ben Doak on the right and Price is going to start up front for Ferguson because they're going to be coming at us and we want space in behind and that's what Price is good for. Ferguson is more good for those teams that sit back and um, <clears throat> try and defend against us. We've got Wilson, Robson, Samal, Coyote, Valley, Guerra, Breaker, Ferreira and Ferguson on the bench. If we win here today and other results go away, apparently, <clears throat> excuse me, apparently we could win the title. Apparently we could win the title today if we win and other results go our way. That's got to be the Chelsea and obviously Man City game games, depending on who they're playing. Newcastle are down in fifth. Look. Uh, oh, they drew. Did they? No, they both got wins. So if we win today, do we win? I just want to check this. Okay. <laughs> Is my maths killing me here, right? If we win today, we'll be on 86 points. That will be eight points ahead of them with three games to go. So nine points left. Is that right? Yeah, no, so we can't win today, right? No, nah, we can't win it today. Uh, we have not started well, but we have got a free kick here. 
It's been all Newcastle, but this is the first key highlight in 34 minutes. And we've got a penalty. That's definitely a penalty as Timber brings down Zaya Emery in the box. And James Price will step up and take this. It's got to be a penalty. There's no point going to VAR. It's going to be awarded. Come on, James. Whip it in. Bottom corner, son. Score it. Score it. Yes. 1-0 here. And that's, <laughs> you know, it's against the run of play. Massively against the run of play. But we'll take it. Price fires it home. Uh, Pfeiffer, Botman. They're going to come at us now. A Sebeliano. I like him as a player. North has won it high. Jonathan North. Oh. Just looking for Harvey Elliott to get that one last assist. Jewel, well done, mate. Gathers it comfortably. Good work. Goes out to Antonio Silva. There's Arnold. Elliott. Ben Doak. Run at them. Run at them, Ben. Yes. Ah, oh, the pass is poor, though. To James Price. And they come away with it. We're looking a bit open here. It's not looking good from us. We've got an overload going on. They're going to score here. I can feel it coming. Tonale. There it is. I'm demanding more. You could feel it coming as they counted us. We were so open there. Jarrell Hatto is not having a good game. Might just go back to a flat back four. Osserman. Pajon. Tonale chest it down. We don't get out to him either. Pereira with the corner. Whips it in. Can we get ahead on it? Can anybody get ahead on it and shoot? Don't go all the way back. Because the highlight will end if you go all the way back. No, don't go all the way back. The highlight's still going. Can we create something? Don't end, please. Oh, around the corner to Javi Guerra. Zaya Emery over to Ferreira. Not the best performance from the boys, but a one all draw away at Newcastle isn't the end of the world when we're still five points ahead of those around us with a game in hand, which is next against Everton. I think if we win that, we basically win the league. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. We'll be, what, eight points ahead of them with three games to go. Jake Williams picked up a knock in training. Doesn't say why, just says he's injured. So he's out for the game against Everton at their place. We've got Jules in goal, Coyote, Silva, Hato, Simao making up a standard back line. Zaya, Emery, Guerra and Elliott, probably our best midfield. Ferreira, Doak and Price make up the front line. Wilson, Robson, Scalvini, Arnold, Valley, Santos, Breaker, Babich and Ferguson. Make up the bench. North isn't really fit because he picked up an injury in the last game. Uh, he is quite injury prone. So that happens quite a bit in terms of the Premier League for this game. If we win our game in hand, we'll be on 86 points, right? Meaning, meaning we'll be eight points ahead with three games to go. So we'll basically have a hand on the title. Our next game in the next episode is against Chelsea at Anfield. They're obviously title rivals. And then Brighton and then West Ham. So it's going to go down to the wire. They're playing a 4-2-3-1, a defensive 4-2-3-1, if you like, with two holding midfielders. We're going to have to try and get through that. We're playing Price today instead of Ferguson because he's a Liverpool boy and it's a derby. So I'm hoping he's going to be up for this one. They're sitting seventh. They're looking for European football, so they're going to be fighting pretty, pretty hard for this. Apparently their form isn't great. Mikalenko with the throw. This is the first highlight. First key highlight. As they look to play it around. Uh, that's really poor. There's a flag up on the, uh, the far side there. So I think he's offside here, Calvert-Lewin. That was really easy. But was it easy because he was offside? We need to make sure we don't let that happen again. How far offside is he? Yeah, he's off. I've gone attacking and put the wingers on attack. I'm hoping that will enable us to pin their wing backs. Or, or fall backs back a bit. And then we can hopefully create some chances. So Samal comes forward. Lovely from Samal. <laughs> All the way back to Emery. A safe pair of feet, if you like. That's good play, but we're not getting anywhere. As we are being held in this sort of halfway line position. Atto pings it over to Elliot. That's a good ball around the corner. There's Price! Is he offside? I don't think he's offside. I thought he was on there, Price. Can't be. Yes. And with that, Price gets another goal. But Elliot also breaks the record for assists. And he does it against the rival club. I mean, it's hooked around the corner. Price is onto it like a flash. And he's got such good finish. And it goes past Israel in the goal. 
Zaya Emery's picked up a knock, so Valley's come on for him. And we've also brought on Breaker! Ferreira! We brought on Breaker for Doak because Doak weren't playing well. And of course, Jerry Breaker is also one of our academy players, so we'll want to get one over Everton. We score here. Breaker with the initial shot. Ferreira with the follow up. Gets cleared away, but only as far as. That's a good hit by Breaker. The goalkeeper's never going to hold it, and Ferreira follows up. He's first on the scene to put it in. Another set piece, Guerrera. Why did he shoot? Why did he shoot from there? It's awful. And Ferreira whips the ball in, and uh, the goalkeeper's there this time. We're looking dangerous from set pieces, which is nice to see. We made a couple of changes. Arnold's come on for Elliot. Uh, we also brought on Giorgio Scalvini for Antonio Silva. Okay, they're just passing it out the back. They've gone around the corner to an injured Asadi. There's Namaso, and it's away in the end by Hato, I think that was. Don't. Oh, he's got so much space there, Namosa. Namoso. What's his name? Namaso. That's, look, look how much space he's got, all right? I don't know what's going on here with the defence. There's Valley. Why is Valley there? Santos. Ooh, unlucky. We're going to change the tactics. And we're just going to go really defensive. So we went defensive for the last three minutes. And you can see it. Can you see it behind me there? No. You can see it there now. Look how defensive we've gone. 4-1-4-1, four, one, four, one, essentially. Everybody dropped back. That's what we wanted. We just wanted to see out the game to get the win. And that, of course, gives us... Yeah, we're eight points ahead of City and Chelsea. We play Chelsea next in the next episode. Three games left, guys, to win the Premier League. Three games left. Can we do it? Can we win the Premier League? <laughs>